Able to On Air major sponsorship was given by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering neighbors with disabilities to be home in the community. Also sponsorship was given by Washington County Mental Health Services, where hope and support come together, and Champlain Community Services of Vermont. Welcome to this edition of Able and On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Aaron Seiler. And on this program, uh, we are talking with Alice Goltz, uh, who was on our program uh, seven years ago. Uh, she's um, a mother of a special needs child, and but uh, we're here today to discuss uh, scams and people with special needs. Welcome, Alice. To Able Then On Air. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. You. Why don't you tell us exactly what <coughs> happened? Uh, you know why you got scammed, or how you feel you got scammed, and then that's why you're here to alert people of scams and people with special needs. Well, um, I went. My friend had called me up to, cause um, they were gonna. Um, look to get a car mm -hmm. and I saw my friend she's my uh, well, both of my friends one's in a wheelchair mm -hmm. so I felt bad for them so I came I came down to the, to, the, to the dealership the dealership had told us I wouldn't be responsible for the car and um, then they applied for seven banks that we were denied why were you guys denied at Seven Banks? And then why did this one car company, who we are not mentioning, accept you? We think that um, they lied on the application because they didn't, they didn't who, ask. The car company lied? The car company. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't ask for my income. They just, they just said they, they went it on the credit because my credit score was good. Okay. Do you feel that you've been scammed, or, 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 I mean, it wasn't a scam originally, was it? Well, it was sort of like taking advantage. Mm -hmm. According to the paperwork, if you want to read some of it, um, from what you explained to, you know, Governor Scott in his budget this year specifically said we're going to help vulnerable adults. But according to that, you got taken advantage of as a vulnerable adult. Yes. Um, explain why do you consider yourself vulnerable because, in this case. Because um, me and my friend, we, we, both, we both don't drive. And um, mm -hmm. and the car title is under our name, and it's not under her husband's name who drives the car. Okay, just to let our guests know, there are other scams out there, um, car dealership scams, as well as a big, huge scam in Social Security, which we'll get into later. Um, knowing that your friend. Well, your group of friends didn't have money for this car, and then you decided, in the kindness of your heart, to help these people. But um, why is why did this go on for so long? Why wasn't it settled at first? Well, um, I spoke to I spoke to somebody about it, and they told me to go to legal aid. And um, legal aid is involved working on this case. Okay. And it's just it's just a process. You want to read some of that paperwork so people can un a little bit understand. It's okay. Okay. You can read some. Just leave names out. Well, what? me and my friend, we both we both have we both disabled, mm -hmm. and um. Okay. And when we, and when they were handing us the paperwork, they didn't explain it to us. Okay. Yeah. That that's a big thing. According to 
um, there's a, a newsletter online. It's called the Special Needs Alliance, April 2019. Um, it's an installment of the voice that was written for the Special Needs Alliance. Um, financial abuse and individuals with disabilities. Financial fraud is among, okay, the fastest growing types of abuse and indiv for individuals with disabilities in p that are particularly vulnerable. In most cases, it involves exploitation by someone known to the victim, but in plenty of scams and Stranger tar targets individuals with disabilities and elderly, because it also affects people with that I are elderly yeah, by phone I or through. The car dealership took advantage of you. Mm -hmm. Took advantage of uh, people with special needs. And they took advantage by by phone and uh, or other means. In by first instance, a family member or caregiver. Right. Uh, um, I mean, you're not a caregiver, or other close associates takes advantage of the victim's trust in order to raid their finances. Yeah. This may take many forms, from convincing them to extract cash from an ATM, right? Well, they didn't go to your ATM. The car dealership didn't go to the ATM and take no. money out. No, no. But in, th it does happen, okay? And extract cash from an ATM to manipulating them to grant them financial power of attorney or outright theft of their valuables and other assets. Yeah, because this may <laughs> this may be accomplished through deception or threats. Is this a large scale systematic plan arrangement for attaining some particular object? Or putting a particular idea into effect. Yeah. Meaning, you know what a domino effect is? <coughs> domino D effect? Domino. What is domino? Domino, the, the definition of domino effect. Because this is exactly what happened to you at the car dealership is a domino effect. Okay? Yeah. Domino effect. No, we're not ordering dominoes. No. But... Um, domino effect, all right? What is an example? Some examples of a domino effect, many real life and behavioral examples in a domino effect, okay? Um, we're, uh, we're not mentioning communist wars, but no. it has to do with, um, you went to the dealership, okay? These yes. people conned you yes. into, this was a con. They conned you into this thing. Yeah. Right. Your friend, not naming names, conned you into, well, not conned you, you helped them yes. get a car. Yes. He did not know, him and his wife did not know this was going to happen. Yes. Okay. Thus, dissolving the ending of the domino effect, it's still in going to court or whatever the ending of domino effect, friendship is, is dissolved. Yes, dissolved. So that is the domino effect. Involving you, paperwork with the lawyer, etc. May I see that for a minute? I'm just going to read one yes. or two things off it without naming names. Boy. Okay. Because at the end, you showed me this, and it said, in quote, okay? Um, financial exploitation of vulnerable adults. That's end all and be all of this whole thing. Is in terms of questions, you have any advice for people who are going through the same thing in terms of scams? Because there's a whole bunch of them out there. Ponzi scam, for one. Yeah. Look at what happened with Lehman Brothers. 
that just in New York, that that whole thing is a whole nother show. You know? They con people out of money dissolving the company. You being a person with a challenge, any advice you want to give to other people going through the same thing? Um, well, it's Maybe not this, but something else? Something else. Well, to, to, to get help, speak to somebody that has more knowledge about it. Mm -hmm. Someone who knows better. You know. And because I almost got I almost got scammed where there was um somebody said that You got that, scammed outside of yeah, this. Yes, outside. Said that they were putting money back into my account and um mm. then they they put um they put a thousand dollars extra, that's what they said. They said they owe me three hundred and then they were gonna put another another um then they said, Oops, I made a mistake, I put a thousand extra so then they said, "Can you send? Can you send um, the thousand back?" And um, they asked for me to buy these these Google cards. So I went to Rite Aid, and the guy at Rite this? Aid asked asked me, um, "Who are the Who are these for?" And I told them. Then they told me to go to the bank, and then we we just um, the bank the bank told me not to do nothing because they knew this was a scam. How much did they try to get you for? A thousand dollars. Thousand bucks. Th thirteen thousand. Wow. Wait, wait, thirteen thousand? Wait, yeah, thirteen hundred or thirteen hundred? Thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred. Wow. Yeah, because <clears throat> you told me, if you want to see that, you told me that wow. your friends right, talk about another scam here for a minute, not mentioning names. Your friends got a phone call from another people saying they're from another country. Yeah. And they want them to deposit money into Western Union or something happened with that and money started disappearing and they never showed up. Yeah. You know, that's another scam. Yes. It's a whole bunch of scams going on. Um, that we should alert the public about because, yeah. you know, we we're vulnerable adults. Yes. Um, yeah, we shouldn't take advantage of, you know. You know, people calling, claiming they're from Social Security. People calling, claiming they're, for, they're from, uh, 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 matter of fact, there's a list of scams here. Okay, it's not only not only around holidays, okay? Um, the activity of professional scammers ramps up, this is according to disabilityadvisor.com. Uh, around the holidays every year, the activi activities of scammers ramp up from ranging to emotional pleas to donate to the needy or great sounding offers to double your money to help seasonal expenses. However, once the new year begins, fraudulent activity continues. Additional people falling victim, uh, victim to swindles without being scammed or distressing to anyone. It is especially financially, physically, and emotionally de devastating to persons with disabilities. With, of course, this is according to disabilityadvisors.com, okay? With nearly 50 million people currently identified as disabled, a large percentage of American families are affected by crimes committed in the area of fraud against the disabled. The number of <clears throat> people in this category continue to grow each year to our aging population and in fact that more females have been a uh, larger number of women becoming disabled due to illness, accidents, or disease. In fact, the Social Security Administration estimates, th this is real fact, the Social Security Administration estimates 20-year-olds face a one in four chance 
<clears throat> they're not able to work until their retirement age due to disability. Will not be able to work um, until retirement age. Um, disabled people are prime victims of criminals who see opportunities to prey on those who are vulnerable or, or already at risk. Okay? So as soon as you can get your name off this thing, you said it's going to... Why is it taking a year? Is there a reason for that? Um, well, it has to be agreed upon by the, the, um, by the bank and the, the car dealer. And the, why is it and the lawyer... The lo right now, the, the lawyer for um, the bank... Um, is is moving to another law firm, so that's what's that's what sort of is the hold up, oh, and it was also the hold up because they wanted to try they were trying to fight to dismiss the case, but the lawyer, the lawyer just told me yesterday that they did not dismiss the case that we don't need my friend to be a party in this case. Mm -hmm. And other the, <clears throat> according to again to disabilityadvice.com. Um, Financial scams and identity theft, despite the fact that the average person on disability receives only a few hundred dollars a year uh, above the problem. In the average Social Security check, average, without the person being retired, is 1400 and something a month. When you divide that, you know, pay rent, food, if they're not on food stamps or whatever the situation is, it's hardly anything. Now, in terms of scams, right, well, in terms of situations, okay, talk about child support, for example. That's not a scam. But if a person's on SSI, which is a little bit different than SSDI, you can't extract child support from a person on SSI. No, you can't. Or pay uh, uh, credit card bills. Well, if a credit card company or a creditor trying to call you to get money from an old bill, you can't get it if the, if the person's on SSI or SSDI. Okay? So that gets you out of that hole. <clears throat> right? Or you can't pay um, a school loan. Department of Education, that's another scam. People claiming to be from Department of Education, oh, you owe money on this and you owe money on that. I hate to tell you how many times this month we've been scammed, people claiming to be from Social Security. By your own information. One thing you got to remember, when you, in terms of, you got to know what you're signing. That's one. Always know what you're signing. Don't sign anything until you get a somebody that knows contracts. To to like a lawyer, yeah, a lawyer, yeah, have a lawyer somebody look over it, or somebody can look over it and tell somebody you. Somebody has to look. Mm -hmm. or a family member, if a family yeah. not, member is, is not available, ask somebody to to look over it. That's number one. Never give your social security number nope. out. Never give your address, your phone number. When you go to the ATM machine, never ever um, um, <coughs> give someone your PIN number. That stops identity theft. There, there are agencies like LifeLock and some others that protect identity theft, but you gotta pay for some of those services, okay? Anything else you wanna say um, to people about what you went through and why this is so important while you're here today? I, ju I just wanna say that, <clears throat> excuse me, that everybody needs to be careful mm -hmm. and to um, get the help that they need. If they feel that, that, they, that they're, um, being scammed, they need to talk to somebody that can help them work through it and so that, that this yeah. way they won't get scammed. 
There's got to be a way. Somebody got to stop this. You know? Okay, there's... There's got to be a put a stop to this. There's... There's... Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to, I, I just had it. There's a scam that's going on with Social Security right now that I'm going to play, and hopefully the, the tape um, gets it. You um, it yeah, 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 I'm getting it, I'm getting it. You should call the national number. Okay. Um, there are... Okay, the national. If you've been scammed against Social Security, um, there's a lot of police agencies that warn um, in terms of Social Security. Um, but if you've been scammed against Social Security, someone calls up claiming to be for Social Security, um, hang up immediately and call the following number 1-800-772-1213 that number for social security scams for the real social security office is 1-800-772-1213 we'll uh, i'll play that um and they'll give you the they'll phone give number, you the phone number on the on the recording, just co copy it down. I'll give you the, their their Ford number. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. Uh, consumer information from um, the Federal Trade Commission. Okay. Federal Trade Commission. Um, in December said that there are growing scams against people with special needs in Social Security Administration. And they try to get you Social Security number or money. This scam is now growing exp exponentially. To compare, in 2017, we heard from the, the Federal Trade Commission has heard from, from 3,200 people about Social Security imposter scams. Okay? Um, and those people reported losing... $210,000 so far. It's probably tripled by now. Um, people have lost millions and millions of dollars. This, exact, this is coming from the Federal Trade Commission. This is exactly what it sounds like. Whoops. Okay, so this is according to the Federal Trade Commission. So if you've been the victim of identity theft and social security numbers, please call 1-800-772-1213. And we can um, get back to this. Um, so people with special needs are vulnerable populations, right? Elderly, people with disabilities, Children can be scammed also. Yeah. The biggest scam with kids, um, people pull up in a car. Mommy's sick. I need to take you to the hospital. And that kid is kidnapped. That's a big scam that, has been, that was going on for years and years. Um, John Walsh kind of stopped um, a lot of those things with missing kids, and, and he's still doing a good job um, in terms of you're getting criminals off the streets. But scammers are considered criminals. Of course. So we need to put a stop to that. So what is the ADA doing about it? No, no the ADA um, can only go so far. Um, the ADA doesn't cover scams. Well, you should go to your congressman or your um, senator. For those that have been scammed uh, in Vermont, uh, which... Um, I'm going to give the number to the Attorney General's office. 
Um, General of Vermont. It's on State Street. Mm-hmm. I'll call Bernie Sanders' office. Believe me. No. You well, get answers. You, you call his office. No. If you've been scammed, um, please call. Um, if you've been scammed in Vermont, please call. Contact Assistant Attorney General Shannon uh, Shannon Salember, 802-828-3171, or, or uh, Attorney General T.J. Jonathan uh, of Vermont. That number, again, is 802-828-3171. But um, how do you... Um, so people don't go through this again, right? Do you think, um, you can give a couple of pieces of advice, um, so people won't do this again? Or in terms of what you've gone through? Well, I think that, um, they're working on a, lo a lo um, bill to be passed. What type of bill? Um, I, th I think, I'm not sure if it has got passed or not, but to, for dealers to give, to give, to show the, um, the application for the, um, when they, when they're, um, they're sending information to help get, get a car for somebody. Please contact the commissioner, Monica Cassetta Hutt. Uh, the, com the commissioner for the state of Vermont uh, for people with disabilities and elderly. Um, her number is, hold on, they can be reached at, um, for more information on disabilities, aging, and independent living, if you've been scammed, uh, please contact Monica Hutt at the following um, number, 802-241-2. 401. That number again is 802-241-2401. Their fax number is 802-241-0386, 241-0386. The Department of Disabilities, Aging, and Independent Living, uh, their address is HC2 South 280 State Street, Waterbury, Vermont, 05671. Uh, that address again is HC2 um, 280 State Drive, sorry, State Drive, not State Street, State Drive, Waterbury, Vermont, 05671. Their number again is 802-241-2401. And the number for Social Security is 802-772, I mean, sorry, 800-772. Um, one two one three seven seven two one two one three. Again, um, this Can is important. Can I say something? Yes, you may. Call Bernie Sanders' office and make your voice heard. Yes, uh, please call your local politician's office. Call your police department or anybody else you need to call. But um, call someone that you can trust. Um, um, Alice, you want to say? Uh, one or two other things that are important to this uh, to this issue. Just get the just get the help that you need, and if you don't if you don't feel that that you, if you're not sure, then call somebody. And they're not sure, then go to somebody else. Okay. But just and please, please sign. Um, please make sure you you're signing the appropriate documents in front of the appropriate people. Um, again, we would like to thank. Our sponsors, um, Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Mental Health, and Green Mountain Support Services. Thank you to our sponsors for Able Then On Air. This puts an end to this edition of Able Then On Air. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Arlene Seiler. See you next time for the next exciting edition of Able Then On Air. Um, next week on, or next time on Able Then On Air, uh, we'll have Mayor the mayor of Montpelier of, of Vermont, Mayor Ann Watson on, and 
a couple weeks after that, um, we will have um, Community College of Vermont. Thank you again for joining me on this, joining us on this edition of Able and On Air. Again, I'm Lauren Siler. I'm Eileen Siler. See you next time. Ableton On Air major sponsorship was given by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering neighbors with disabilities to be home in the community. Also sponsorship was given by Washington County Mental Health Services, where hope and support come together, and Champlain Community Services of Vermont.